And I think the number one thing in, in, in being relevant is one, man, you gotta, it starts with authenticity. You can only like, you're, you're relevant Casey, because this is something that you're like, man, I'm going to do this and I'm going to take the hard knocks and the lumps and the disappointments that most people will never know about. You know what I'm saying? And, but you're authentic to it. And that authenticity is something that builds relevancy because people are like, nah, man, they really get down like that. You know what I'm saying? People, there's a few different categories that people know that I'm just totally authentic and I'm, I'm in it and I'm going to tell you the truth and I'm going to, you know, do the best job. Second thing, and it could also be first really is like, man, honesty and transparency. And I think that people, you know, I mean, we got this culture where we want to put two on the 10 and sometimes 10 on the 10. Man, it's okay to be like, man, you know what? This failed or this is not going to work or it's whatever. People will rock with you for decades, for a lifetime if they know you're just going to tell the truth. You know, and, and right now, especially with this Internet and, and you know, the, doing it for the gram and, and, and everything else. You know what I'm saying? It's like we, we find we find a space. We find a space here. We find a space here where people are just making up stuff. But ultimately, to remain relevant, people know that it's like, you know, you have to be honest. And I think that, like, you know, the third thing is, man, it's commitment, you know. Um, and, man, stay committed. Stay committed to your word. You know, stay committed to your people. Stay committed. You know what I'm saying? Industries change. You got to change with it, but stay committed to your goals. And uh, we find that a lot of people, their relevancy wavers because they never, they were never anchored in a goal. They were just anchored in a get on. I'm just trying to get on. <laughs> What's your goal? What's the end goal? Like me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Horace Mann said that, you know, his biggest fear is an educator from the 1800s. He said his biggest fear would be to leave this earth without making a mark on humanity. And like, you know, so for me, I just try to tie everything into like, man, how can I make a difference? Yeah, I'm a capitalist. I'm trying to, you know, get paid and everything else. But how can I impact people's lives? How can we really make a difference, especially around young people? And when you have a focus like that, if you're aligned, then all these things come into alignment to your goals and you'll continue to be relevant in anything that you're doing.